We all know some other ways to say bad, right? Dreadful, awful, terrible, you know, the list goes on and on. However, me and my mates back in the UK don't speak like this. So stick around and learn some British slang that means bad. Let's get cracking. All right, everyone. I'm Dan and I'm here to help you understand British English. Today, we're going to be looking at some slang words that mean bad. But before we get started, don't forget to get your downloadable cheat sheet right now using the link in the description and pay attention because there's going to be a quiz at the end. Before we jump in, I want to point out that some of the words in this video are considered swear words. So if you're easily offended, you've been warned. Right then, let's take a look at this dialogue. Mate, the weather is proper grim today. Do you fancy going to the cinema or something? Yeah, can do. What do you want to see? I don't know. What about that new Thor movie? I don't know, mate. It looks pretty shit. And online, all the reviews say it's wank. Fair enough. How about getting some food or something instead? Yeah, all right, but let's not go back to Pizza Express again. Yeah, the pizza were minging last time and the beer were rank. Did you catch all that? There's quite a lot of stuff going on here, so I suggest we break it down and talk about it. Let's get started with this one. Mate, the weather is proper grim today. Grim is a British slang word that we use to mean very bad. We usually use this to talk about the weather and sometimes about bad situations. When it comes to weather, just imagine regular British weather. You know, grey skies, rain, wind, cold. The weather's grim. But when we're talking about a situation, we usually talk about a bad situation that doesn't look like it's going to get any better. Check out these examples. My chances of getting into uni are pretty grim after those exam results. The weather in England is usually pretty grim. It's a pretty grim situation at work since the boss got sick. Right then, here's the next one. It looks pretty shit. And online, all the reviews say it's wank. There are two words in here, and they both have the exact same meaning. We use both of these words to say that something is bad. If we say it's shit or we say it's wank, we mean it's bad. We usually use these to give our opinion about something, you know, a book, movie, song, whatever. If we think it's not very good, we might say it's wank or we might say it's shit. In British English, we've got loads of words that do this exact same thing. Recently, in another video, I talked about the word bollocks and how we can describe something as being utter bollocks, meaning it's not very good. There's loads, but these three are probably the most commonly used ones. So if you want to say that something's bad, use one of these three words. Check out these examples. That new Thor movie is pretty shit. I think cricket is proper wank. It's so boring. You liked their new album? I thought it were pretty wank, to be honest. Nice one. Let's keep this slang train rolling. Check this. The pizza were minging last time and the beer were rank. Once again, two different words, very similar meanings. And both of these words kind of mean disgusting. Disgusting! Now we can use these to talk about taste or smell. And we can also use it to talk about how people look. If you describe somebody as being minging or being rank, you're basically saying that that person is pretty ugly. Here's some examples. That restaurant is minging. I'd give it a miss if I were you. Have you farted? Mate, that smells rank. I asked a girl out on a date and she said no because she said I were minging. So, have you got it? Let's test your knowledge with this quiz. Number one, if something smells bad, you can say it smells A, wank, B, rank, or C, tank. Number two, if the weather is bad, you could say it's A, grim, B, slim, or C, trim. Number three, which of these words usually means ugly? A, slinging, 
B, winging, or C, minging? Put your quiz answers in the comments below, and while you're down there, why don't you try making a sentence with some of these new slang words? And if you thought that this was useful for understanding British people, it's good, but it's just a start. There's loads of other stuff that you need to learn if you're going to fully understand British English. But don't worry, I've got your back. Check out this video over here for some more useful British English that will help you understand British people. Ming <laughs>